glasses on, boba accomplished, ready for a road trip. Hello, happy Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. And what a beautiful day for a reset because we went hard this weekend. <laughs> we, I recorded that whole entire thing. That fun, it sucks. Because it was beautiful. The drink looked like this, but it's, it's very good. But let's go home for a minute. We just got back from my best friend's bachelorette party and it was so much fun such a good time but we need to reset we need to be a lot healthier we need to not do what we did this last weekend there was a lot of alcohol <laughs> there was a lot of drag loved the drag show that was so much fun we are needing for a reset so that is what we are doing sorry that if you hear air conditioning and it's fucking hot it is 70 degrees outside, but there's like a shit ton I need to catch you up on because a lot of things changed over the weekend and I am so excited. So before I left, and I think I said this, I had an interview. Guess who got the job? This one right here, she got the job. And it, I did answer the phone a, a, wee, a wee bit drunk. Um, but I don't think she knew, <laughs> that's okay. She oh, rock. They call people for reference checks, right? And she said that my principal only had positive things to say about me, which is good, I guess. But they said that I was the number one pick of the interviews. And so it's awesome just kind of how everything went into place. I was, I was 100% gonna skip out. There was no way I could afford that flight to make it and my mom was like no like I will help you on this flight like it is important that you go to this interview so that was amazing that that had happened and I met someone like we were just standing next to each other because it was southwest so you know you board like a through like one through 20 something right I was a two that was cool I got like the pick of the litter of where I was going to sit and the guy that I was just standing next to was like a three he was like, hey, like we were just talking. He's like, oh, what do you do, blah, 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 right? I was telling him that I'm getting my master's in media psychology. And he's like, you know, I work for this big news station. And I was just like, I did not know that, sir. But <laughs> yeah, so we, we ended up sitting next to each other. He gave me his business card for future inquiries and that was cool. Um, and we had like a lot of overlap in our life. And I was like, oh, wait, you worked in this? So you know this person? He's like, yeah, I know that person. And then their son was also my age. And I was like, wait, we played water polo against each other. It was weird. Very weird, <laughs> like overlaps. And we're like, huh. But very cool. And I, that, it was amazing. The bachelor party was just so much fun. If you saw the last video, you, you know, <laughs> we had a good time. Here's just like a, a minor clip right here. Like it was hurting really bad like Wednesday, Thursday, and, like Friday. I was like, this is, it's painful. And I don't complain about pain. I very much am like very high pain tolerance and I will deal with a lot of pain. This fucking hurts. Like my teeth hurt, my like nose hurts, my sinuses hurt. And I was just like, is this a sinus infection? I tried doing a teledoc one last night and they're like, no, it's not a sinus infection. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. I was like, 
Okay. We're gonna go get groceries and reset and do that whole shebang kind of thing. With me as we kind of reset and let's also do like a little monthly goal situation because I gotta now seriously start like thinking and about the move and financial situations and like all this crazy shit. So yeah, come come with me as we go on this adventure. Hey, I'm back. I have to unpack and I have like 20 minutes before I need to go and I need to make a grocery list and I need to try to undo some stuff. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the suitcase. I think I'm gonna start with the suitcase. I'm a little overwhelmed. So here's why I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> That's just sitting in the middle and there's just so much that needs to get done. And then this giant thing. This is my letter for my friend. She, I love my friend. I was crying, I never cry, but. To empty this thing. So ideally, if I do this faster, then I could put all that stuff away and then be a little less overwhelmed. That stuff right there, that, that one. This all needs to go in the wash. This needs to go in the wash. Bachelorette stuff. This is all the dirty clothes. See, that's, this is the move. Bring a bag, put it in there as your dirty clothes. Needs to go in there too. Really, I would start a load of laundry too, but I, I don't know. I don't know. These are my shoes. Dirty sock. Totally missed. Stuff, swimsuits and stuff, makeup and stuff, all the pantalones and stuff. So I'm gonna try to wash these. We'll see. If I was smart, I would start a load of laundry right now, but we're gonna see where we get. I have all the stuff out of the suitcase, so let's put that away so I feel better. This stuff's all clean too. Yes. Yes. Just one step at a time. Honestly, I could undo all that stuff later. So that's not my biggest concern at this point of time. Oh, I forgot this happened. Aha, okay, that was easy. Because so I need to make my grocery list. My grocery list, correct. So I am gonna undo Remy's bag though, so she has water and stuff. I forgot I was still recording, hi, bye. Color me shocked, it's a fucking sinus infection, like I said. I don't know what that fuck that doctor's like. It's not a sinus infection. No. And this one's like, yeah, it's clearly a sinus infection. I was just like, okay, well, cool. So, yay. I'm gonna go to the grocery store now because we need food. And I'll start making dinner because I'm kind of hungry. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see if, I might have Tylenol at the house. They said no ibuprofen. Okay. Love that for us. Let's go. Bet you can't guess what we're doing right now. We're doing a Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> My pharmacy calls that we're gonna run to the pharmacy, but what did we get from Trader Joe's for this reset time? Great question. Great question it is. Let's start with the boring, the traditional lettuce. Pickles. Brussels sprouts. Tomatoes and onions and avocados. Flowers. I thought it would be really cute to put them in the vase. Sardo bread, Thai red curry sauce, alabari chili spicy pasta. I thought I would try this Italian Roma cheese organic sauce, like salad dressing, because this week we are doing so much salads to try to be better. We need to cleanse. We got my check, triple cream wild mushroom brie cheese. Thought it'd be a fun little snacky snack moment. Broccoli. Cottage cheese, I got a smaller version because I always buy the big one and then I never eat it. So we're gonna try smaller, see if that works. Shrimp rolls, so thought that'd be a good little lunch. As a little treat, some macaroni and cheese, like the pizza macaroni and cheese, because it's delicious. This is new to me, I don't know if it's new, but the chicky, uh, chicky, the chicky, <laughs> the chicken and chimichurri empanadas. Thought that'd be a fun little try on a lazy night. Coffee creamer and chicken breasts. Sandwich meat, just in case I felt like a sandwich one day, you know? Giant Greek yogurt. I'm gonna try to eat more Greek yogurt and Remy likes these on her, in her morning little treat thing, so. Blue cheese crumble. I'm gonna go for the chicken, the pesto chicken, 
but this one is sun-dried tomato and basil chicken. So I thought that could be a fun little try. Brown turkey. I was thinking about making meatballs this week. So good. If you have not had this, get this. This is the jalapeno and cream cheese crispy wontons. Fucking delicious. And then I got a butter chicken spinach dip. So in total, we spent a lot of money. My tax is really high too, just so you guys know in the area. It's $105.92. But I also didn't have like any food in my fridge. So am I mad? No. Um, I'm going to put the stuff away. You okay? You okay? We're going to put the stuff away and we're going to start making dinner because I'm fucking hungry, man. My neck really hurts too, I'm like, but yeah, let's do all that. Okay, so I just chopped all of the lettuce. This is my, this is my lunch for tomorrow. This is my dinner. I'm snacking on that because I'm super hungry. I cut up tomatoes, onions, all that stuff. Now I gotta put that away. And I'm thinking like pepperoncinis maybe? Throw that in there, a little, little spicy, spicy? I don't know. I mean, pepperoncinis are not spicy, let's be fair. Oh, we gotta put the blue cheese in. And then let's check on the chicken that is still going beautiful this has to be ready but now that looks like it could let's check it out oh yeah chicken's done sweet boom and that's a completed salad we got some that's like steaming off to put on the salad for tomorrow still have even more extras for later on killing it i love it i love it so much i'm gonna eat it Mwah. oh hey hi so we have a lot of shit to put away, so we're gonna work on that. The plan for the day is that the rest of the day, it's like 9.30. I may have zoned out real bad, but the plan is that I am going to, I was gonna work a field trip tomorrow, so I need to make a lesson plan, oh, a lesson plan real quick. Is that, so I'm really excited because I've never actually done a field trip before. So that'll be fun. And we're just going to Stanford. They're really good students. So I have zero fears of this field trip going anything but swimmingly. But with that being said, still got to make a lesson plan uh, and submit it that I am going on said field trip. Everything out, putting it away. My teeth hurt so bad. Uh oh, we could just keep that. There's like some stuff I need to put away in the corner, right? But yeah, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Uh, I'm gonna wash all of my hair, all my body. And then we'll get less of planet, baby. <laughs> it's not it's not the same day it's actually the next day i got so focused in like trying to find something for my students to do so i could go on a field trip today that i just didn't film anything um and i was so stressed out that i didn't have anything planned for tomorrow so <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and i'm planning out a lesson which now i have done essentially i have to make like one more thing but i'm not going to do that tonight because i also need to send money and stuff to get transcripts sent over. The thing I did want to talk about was my goals for this month. So my goals for this month do for the month of J April, April, April's where we're at. My big thing is I want to save a bunch of money because I need to move. So I need to save money and do all that and try to do blah, blah, blah. Right. So every book I read equals one DoorDash credit. And my therapist actually brought this up to me and I was like, that's a really good idea. So whenever I finish a book, I get one DoorDash credit and I could go and spend that on wherever I want. Other than that, I cannot spend any money on DoorDash. So if I read one book, I only get to go order one DoorDash that month. If I, order, if I read three books, then I get three DoorDashes, you know, that kind of mentality. I also don't want to eat any red meat outside of DoorDash. So if I want birria tacos, then I can have birria tacos if I'm doing DoorDash. I'm trying to lessen my red meat intake. I'm trying to like work on my, my skin, my health, all that fun stuff. So I think just cutting out meat's really going to help out with that. 
and then I need to start decluttering. So I need to find two things. I'm like, all right, these are the two things I'm going to declutter. So maybe it's I'm decluttering my bathroom and maybe I'm decluttering my kitchen materials, right? That kind of stuff that I want to start kind of going through and decluttering. So I don't feel like I'm lost. <laughs> like at the, when I have to move, moving. So just more physical activity, right? It's like going on walks with Remy, going to the gym, going and doing whatever. Like I just need to be more physically active. And the last one is I want to try to read at least once a day. Even if it's just like a 10 minute read, that's fine by me. But as long as I am reading something per day, that will be great by me. So that is our plan. I'm going to, it is like 11.06. So I'm going to just order these transcripts. But we're also going to close out here. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you have make good decisions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!